Hi Cancer, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Cancer, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And of course Cancer, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Cancer and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life. Thank you. All right, Cancer, let's start your reading. A warm welcome back to all my subscribers. Thank you for being here once again with me. And Cancer, if you're new here, of course, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. So Cancer newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Cancer, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, for me, uh, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, I have a two of swords in reverse. Well, somebody is making a decision not to be, you know, blocked off or blocked not blocked off i would say this is like somebody not wanting to stay in stagnancy and saying hey i'm making a choice for myself so let's see what that choice is going to be from the, my first look to the cards uh, cancer somebody feels it's better to stop this connection because it's getting too heavy it's like uh, too burdening i'm carrying all the weight of the connection uh, this is the end i can't do this anymore like a stagnancy is setting in or at least one person is experiencing experiencing that the other person is very very frustrated really frustrated they want to come out of the cold maybe they you guys have had some kind of an argument or fight or some harsh words have been spoken the other person does want to well come out of this stagnant time that you see yourselves in so let's see what's going to happen cancer i'm going to start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then we clarify these cards cancer and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be cancer and their person cancer and their person spirit all right i'm going to take a few more cancer from another deck and if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Cancer and their person spirit. Cancer and their person. Okay. And just a few more cancer from a third deck as well. And then we'll start your reading. Cancer and their person spirit. Cancer and the person. All right, good to go, Cancer. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, Nothing else matters but you. I'm lost in this world without you. It gets lonely. I know I'm the one to blame. I need security. Your presence in my life has turned my world upside down. I stalk you. Just say something to me. Why do you stay when they treat you so badly? I'm trying to be the person that you see me to be. I never thought I could be that person. Life hasn't been too nice to me and I took it out on you. My heart belongs to you. I'm afraid that if I come back into your life that I'll hurt you again. Just know that I'm sorry. I know you still check my social media I don't check yours anymore though. 
losing hope in this connection. I was misguided, I was blinded, I could not see straight. I'm feeling emotionally void without you. I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you as my complete whole self. All right, Cancer, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start your reading. I am, of course, going to start with our angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for Cancer. Sleep. Well, if you're losing uh, sleep cancer, I think this would be a good time to rest up. Uh, you know, a boggled mind without sleep always comes to the worst kind of conclusions. Maybe this connection has gone into a bit of sleep mode right now. But what Spirit is saying, maybe this was a necessary break. You both need to kind of rest up and settle your own minds before you can make any decision. So let's see. Okay, so Spirit, I'm going to start with Person A's energy and newcomers, I'm just picking up on two soul energies here. I'm not saying the woman is here, the man is here or vice versa. This could be same-sex couples as well, right? So just two soul energies who somehow seem to be connected still energetically. Uh, so, well, how you guys are feeling, if this is your reading, uh, Cancer, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on. And um, well, if not, then maybe it's not your reading today. So just take it with a pinch of salt. All right, person A, let's start with you. Let's see. And Cancer, you could be person A or person B, right? Remember that. So person A, in your feelings, you have the Knight of Pentacles. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles, please. One more. I think person A is still a little upset. They feel this connection became too toxic. They feel there is no nothing stable on offer in this connection. Maybe person A is kind of feeling they should now focus on their own wishes, their own dreams, the things that make them happy instead of uh, being in a connection which probably has become a bit, you know, toxic. There's a bit of anger issues as well from what I see from person A's side, especially because they're feeling very overwhelmed. They feel, you know, I was carrying all the burden in this connection. They were not sharing my load. And yes, I am standing up for myself now and blocking this connection. Ten of Wands, one more. I think that they are feeling that if the person B comes back into their life, it will create the same kind of stress. Maybe it may make them happy for a second, but then it again the same kind of, uh, I don't know, it's like almost like person A is kind of in contemplation right now. Do I want them back? Does that make me ha happy? Should I still wait for this commitment or maybe is it time for me to move towards new love? I mean, the alarm was going on as well behind me. So person A could be wondering what gives them happiness. Should they allow person B to come back? Will that work? Or basically, I think person A is kind of contemplating their own happiness at the moment. Maybe even contemplating finding happiness with a new person. Okay, why do you feel this way, person A? Uh, Ace of Swords in Reverse. Did your person lie to you? Yeah, person A says, I'm not interested in talking to them now. I'm kind of, they lie to me. There's no communication. They cheat, right? So person A is kind of little cut up about uh, whatever person B did in the past. Maybe there was lying, cheating behavior. I have the Ace of Swords in Reverse and the, well, seven of swords upright which is like somebody who could have lied or cheated in the past and a person a says that's the reason omkara taro i've shut this chapter down yes i am still very very upset and very angry with them i don't want to move towards them anymore i don't want to take any more action towards person b queen of wands in reverse 
queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, person A is not even interested in fighting for this connection. It's like, I don't even want to talk to you anymore. I don't want to fight anymore. In fact, person A could be blocking person B at the moment. Am I right, queen of wands? Yeah, they're healing themselves. I think they're healing themselves from past hurt and yes, yeah, seriously could be contemplating uh, moving towards new love. This one they feel that they broke their heart. Maybe there was love in the past but then their heart got broken, right? So person A could be in their healing phase right now. So how do you feel about person B now, person A? How do you feel about the connection with person B? Ace of Cups in reverse. Person A feels, well, I know, I know that I am worth, I'm worth, I was, you know, everything. I'm, I'm kind, I'm loving, I'm generous, I know I'm marriage material, uh, but now I have to kind of guard myself. I've really tried to keep this connection going, but I seriously doubt now that there was even true love. I feel that there was no love from their side at all towards me and it was just me who was maybe doing everything in this connection. I tried, I tried and tried and tried, but now I'm going to block it. Because I'm, person A is actually kind of trying to release this connection. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Spirit. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the Empress in reverse. But person A feels the, they were insulted maybe, or they felt uh, not respected or not, there was no you know growth in this connection they feel they were not valued basically so that's the reason person A is on the brink of kind of letting go of this connection and moving towards maybe a brand new life let me take a risk else elsewhere so that's in their thoughts but let's see what action most likely action person A will take I'll open that later cancer let's go on to the other side and see how person B is feeling first okay so, person B, Knight of Swords in reverse, in your feelings, Knight of Swords in reverse. Person B is actually quite uh, frustrated, they're very, very frustrated because they want to show back up as an emperor now. They do want to talk, they do want to clear the air. Person B seems very sure that, yeah, I know we're meant to be together. You're my empress, I'm your emperor and let's talk it out and clear the air. They are frustrated because they don't know now how to make it work. They don't know how to get the ball rolling again, I guess. Uh, why, why, why do you feel that way, person B? Five of pentacles in reverse. Five of pentacles in reverse. They don't know what to say. They want to reach out. They want to come out of feeling left behind, abandoned. Um, they want to get in touch with person A once again. But this is what's going on. Like... How do, I, how do I send that message? What do I say? How do I make it work? How do I make it that, you know, we can come back on the same page? How do I make this work is basically the what I'm hearing from person B. I don't know. I don't know how to make it work. So there's a huge level of frustration going on in person B's mind. Yeah, they really want to show back up as uh, somebody who's now learned their lesson. I want to come back as an emperor. I want to take responsibility. If you're the queen of pentacles, I want to be your king of pentacles. But they feel so stuck right now. They're feeling they're getting the bad karma for whatever they did in the past. So what, what did happen, person B? Uh, why do you feel this way? That now that you're ready, you feel stuck and you feel, you know, you don't know how to make it, make it work. What happened? Why do you feel this way? Person B says, seven of swords in reverse. Uh, something backfired on them. Maybe they got caught doing something. Seven of swords in reverse. They have a lot of regret about something that didn't work out. When they look at the past, they feel, oh my God, I had everything. I had everything. I had a future. I had a family. I had long-term uh, whatever but something happened here which backfired on this connection and now person b seems to be in a lot of regret so it could have been them that messed it up am i right person b what happened they thought they could do something and get away with it 
this is like that trickster magician energy right what does a magician do they pull out rabbits from their hat and uh, of course it's just a trick but they feel they can fool for the public with it so i think person p could have been a bit of a trickster and not in the best way right this is like a i don't know whatever they did here uh, <laughs> cancer i don't want to get into it but they messed up a beautiful connection and they have remorse for that for which they do want to put in the work and make it right uh, yeah this person has been very very stressed out this is this is the person who's been having sleepless nights stress tension nightmares wondering what do i do now how do i now reach back what message can i send how can i work on this connection to get it back right eight of uh, pentacles yeah they they're very depressed about the fact that uh, person a is releasing this connection or letting them go so how do you feel about the connection now person b how do you see person a or this connection nine of wands in reverse person b feels that uh, whatever has happened in this connection uh, cancer they feel that person a is totally exhausted of them they're tired they're exhausted they don't no longer want to fight for this connection nine of wands in reverse yeah something came out something came out in the open which um, i think person a lost the strength to even fight for person b and that is a big burden now the burden has shifted maybe person a had the burden earlier and because they've let go i think person b is now carrying all the weight of whatever happened in this connection now, right now person b could be feeling they made some very very unwise and foolish choices in this connection how much in reverse person b yes this person doesn't know they don't want this connection to end they want to come out of their stress and tension uh, but uh, maybe in the past or this person has difficulty in expressing their emotion i don't know they're feeling the lack of love from person a or generally in their life but they don't know what to do because certain things have been revealed maybe about them about something that they did and they're not even sure that person a would be willing now to accept an apology from them they don't even know how to apologize because everything is out in the open and now they feel person a is totally exhausted of them given up on them and uh, well that's it so of course these are person b's feelings let's see what actions you guys will take i'm going to take another deck for this one cancer and while i shuffle these cards may i request you please if you could just tap that like button for me please really helps the videos to circulate and yes makes me feel very very happy to know how many of you i'm connecting with and uh, newcomers don't forget to subscribe it's free just tap that like but uh, like button subscribe button and in fact also the notification bell that way then youtube can notify you when new videos are uploaded so you don't miss the future ones thank you person a action from your end towards person b king of swords why is that an action is that how you want person b to be honest or you want to have a have some oh sorry why is the king of swords an action card the emperor the world strength 10 of wands but what's your action give me three more please what's your action you are you are closing down a chapter person is it seems to be closing down a chapter with somebody who i think they waited for to come and have clear communication or speak their truth maybe level up and be that emperor in their life but right now it's almost like i have to pull back now i have to end this i think this is a cycle that needs to shut down give me three more <coughs> Give me three more person A. The lovers. Page of cups. And the nine of wands. I don't think person A has completely made that decision yet. 
they are trying to make a decision do they want to move towards somebody new start a brand new cycle yes person a is holding back at the moment maybe guarding themselves maybe even waiting for an apology before they make this final decision i think they're waiting for an apology before they finally seal the deal as to whether they want to start a new with person b or do they want to end the cycle maybe they're waiting on that last closure or last conversation person b what about you any action from your end towards person a or otherwise person b the tower in reverse okay person b definitely wants to rebuild whatever has uh, broken between the two of you let's build again on a firm foundation tower in reverse yes they want to send that message to the person who they think is their happiness i have a feeling person b will will try and send that message uh, person a after after that of course the choice is yours person b wants this happiness back they see person a as their complete happiness they do want to start communication again it may come as a small message or something eventually i think person b does want um, well to rebuild this tower and have victory with person a that's their deepest desire i feel person a could be kind of still holding on to have that final communication maybe waiting for an apology what's the two of swords in reverse spirit what's the two of swords in reverse what's this uh, decision why was this the overall energy for cancer's reading today two of swords in reverse king of cups yeah the hanged man <laughs> and the eight of pentacles two of pentacles exactly uh, i know i mean i think this is for person a who ha who is making some kind of a choice or will be right now they haven't they still kind of going back and forth weighing out their options to see should i go back to the past or maybe maybe i should choose somebody new there is love here person a somewhere still loves person b uh they could be still stuck on this person b uh they are they're trying to see if uh, person b will actually put the work in before they make that decision so it totally depends on person b the level of work they put in to apologize or rebuild or explain or communicate that is a decision that will be made by person a but right now they still hung up on they stopped i mean their life has stopped at the moment they haven't yet moved on they haven't yet completely shut the door on the past either they're trying very hard but somewhere waiting for that apology okay so person b i think you should send that message okay so that's all i have for you cancer till next time then Love and light. Take care. Namaste.